Hi guys, Steve here. Welcome to my spreadsheet. This is something I've developed over the years, uh, working a few decades in aerospace and construction industries, uh, ending with uh, working uh, since 2004 as a $125 an hour construction management uh, consultant and expert witness, testifying in English and Spanish and writing reports for uh, surety and other construction lawsuits. And so here's a uh, brief summary of my spreadsheet. Uh, we can go through the tabs. We could talk about a lot of things here. There's a lot of hidden information, but uh, today this is just a brief summary. And uh, in the description below, I'll provide a link to this spreadsheet where uh, you can download the spreadsheet in full Excel format with no password protection or other restrictions. Uh, you can feel free to uh, remove my logo and verify all of the labor rates, the productivity rates, the materials rates, uh, etc. Your personal specific general conditions, profit and overhead, etc. And verifying the formulas as well. And uh, feel free to make this spreadsheet your own. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of addi additional information uh, in hidden cells here, but to quickly and briefly go through it. We could look at the uh, info tab that everything is driven from, from labor rates to waste factors, ceiling heights, uh, roof pitch factors even. Once that information is plugged in, coming in and filling all the information in through the spreadsheet, picking up off of those line items in the info uh, tab where applicable and everything calculates out, including percentages of the total, we've got cost code columns, we've got some reference numbers so we can see what the total is per that unit or the total just for the labor only for that item. We've got a divisions total tab, just breaks things down by straight division and if you were bidding this you could uh, go through and filling in what items were locked in as bids, subcontract and supplier bids came in, for example. A proposal tab, this can be driven directly, which is really helpful when you have uh, plans that are in flux and designs and, and changes. Uh, you can be in the estimate and making modifications as they occur and make a proposal. And then as new modifications happen, everything is linked and so everything automatically changes. Pay application schedule values is kind of a whole separate thing. A lot of people uh, don't bill by the percentage completion and work in the ground and stored, but uh, it certainly is the way for commercial construction and it's the most accurate and fair way of doing things. I went ahead on this sample spreadsheet and filled in some items and uh, as a real brief overview on this on the percentage of completion we could come in and literally just type in the percentage of completion if we knew it or if in a case like this if we knew that there was two of those four items that had been installed then we can literally just plug in that formula equals two divided by the total and it will automatically kind of calculate everything else as an example. And this is something that can be done uh, on a tablet walking the project with an owner and the contractor and subcontractor so that everything can be measured and verified item by item uh, right there in the field and even emailed out uh, proposed uh, pay applications, pay certifications on the spot. We've got a cash flow tab in here as well. Uh, I haven't used it for a long time. Uh, this has been for some development projects that I've used it for but uh, it's in here for anyone's use. And some notes. I just have a place that uh, anytime you go through an estimate, uh, you should always have notes, uh, some sort of a, a method of attaching notes uh, immediately to that estimate, in my opinion. And then here I've got some additional notes, just uh, started putting in some notes about this spreadsheet itself and how to manage and handle it. A couple of the highlights on this. Uh, since we have tied everything into the info tab, for example, uh, the ceiling heights. It's something that's commonly changed during value engineering. So right now we've got a nine and a half foot ceiling height on the first floor and a nine and a half foot ceiling on the second floor. 
if I was to come in here and add another foot as a possibility, we could take a look at the total cost of the project and and compare it because everything will have changed. Everything in, in the entire budget and the entire spreadsheet will have changed. Uh, everything that's in, uh, associated. So everything from two by fours and the insulation and gypsum and interior paint and sheathing on the outside and siding and exterior paint and downspouts and anything else that um, is related uh, automatically is tied into those uh, items, those cells on the info tab and therefore automatically change. So it's a great tool for value engineering being able to work through something like that and um, here we can take a look at what the total price is. I'll click undo and come back over and see our price adjusted accordingly. So it's a, like I said, just a great tool to be able to uh, work with clients and show them exactly where your costs are at. Now, as far as that is concerned, many of my clients end up using this tool and the proposal. Uh, you can see that I, I use the proposal with virtually full um, information, full exposure. The only thing that um, isn't in here are the general conditions and overhead contingencies and profit. Uh, those are all built in proportionally. Uh, but otherwise, it's a, an extraordinarily, relatively speaking, an extraordinarily um, transparent uh, proposal and method. And that ties in apples to apples with the schedule of values. So everything is really straightforward, apples to apples across the board, from the estimate to the proposal to the schedule of values. And then it would go on from there to um, create and maintain a historic database of costs as well in the same format. Well, that's it. Uh, like I said, uh, this is just the first uh, video on this. You can keep an eye out on this uh, playlist um, for this construction management playlist in my YouTube channel uh, for additional videos, for some more information. And um, I will keep an eye out for comments and questions uh, so that I'd be happy to help anybody out. And also, if anybody needs uh, help or wants help with training or customization of this spreadsheet, uh, I could be available on an hourly basis for that as well. All right. Well, I hope uh, this is beneficial. I hope that some people that don't have a tool currently better than this um, are able to implement this and use it and uh, hope it benefits them. It's kind of an open source concept, just sharing. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.